welcome back to day 24 of National Poetry Writing Month 2024. So all the fours, um, all the 24s, doing all the things. Um, today we are looking at something called word bank prompts, and these are a really cool way to incorporate a set list of words into your poem and so you never know where it's going to take you you never know how it's going to go and you can create some really cool stories out of this you can create some really different uh are really cool prompts you can do a lot of fun things with this so um this is also a great opportunity for me to show you the blue jay prompt journals i have two of them here with me there is actually a third um, I'm just out of stock at the moment, but you can order these from me. You can order them from Amazon and there is uh, a discount that I'm running until the end of the month on these as well. So reach out if that's the thing you'd like. Um, but anyway, there are word bank prompts, which are basically, um, three to like eight words that get listed and your goal is to incorporate all or as many as possible into one prompt. Um, there are some in the first book, but the first book is, our prompt journal is structured a little differently than the later two. So I am trying to find one as we talk. <laughs> do, 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 Um, okay, I promise there are some in here. I'm just having a really hard time finding one, uh, kind of at random. Um, so we will use some from the third one because, like I said, they're structured a little differently and I know exactly where it is in here. Okay. Um, so example, you might have star, scar, horse, carve, true, and melt as your prompts and I might tell a story about um, a constellation that looks like a horse and is made of stars and has a scar carved out in the sky and it's a true story believe me my heart melts every time um, and that's just a gist that's just a starting point and then I might flesh it out and add some details um, but that's one um, experience signal faith fame, and shine. So, uh, I might talk about a time that I had faith, the flowers falling were a signal, um, for me to shine, that it was my time for fame, and I know this from the experience of thousands of other artists, or whatever the case is, and then again, I would flush it out, um, once I had my basic idea, that's how I would approach it. I know other people like to just have the words in mind and start writing and see what happens. I know other people like to do associations with each word and kind of get an idea of what they have in common. Um, there are lots and lots of different ways to approach it. Um, another example, dreamer, Alice, fall, wardrobe, jamboree, purple, tambourine, headache, golden, map, ticket, subway, please. Treasure, compass, actual, doll, owl. Camouflage, taste, escape, and summer. Um, so I also have in this one, this is my third prompt journal, uh, which actually came out a little smaller than I thought it would. Um, but anyway, I have, uh, also in here, um, prompts for every day of the year. I have word bank prompts. I have haiku prompts. I have sunny rue prompts. I have list poem prompts, word bank prompts, concrete poems, sustainable word banks, blackout and erasure poem prompts, uh, one word prompts, and of course, uh, like long form fill in the blank prompts. So there's all kinds of really cool stuff in here and you can kind of use it however you want. Um, and I think that is the beauty of a prompt journal. And anyway, all of that is to say today we are doing word bank prompts and, um, there are some really great ways to create your own word banks. And I'm going to give you that skill as well in today's workshop. So, um, again, one of my favorites is I will message 
four different people and also give me a random word. Um, and I will use all of those words in one prompt. There are random word generators online. I use those sometimes. Um, also, you can read uh, a poem or an article or a chapter in a book or whatever you want and highlight five to six words that just really interest you or are really fun words or are really weird and interesting words. Um, and you can build a word bank prompt that way. You can listen to the radio or you can listen to a podcast or you can listen to something and then pull out um, the first like five words you hear. Like when you're not like listen while you're multitasking kind of thing or listen where you're not actually paying attention to everything and just words are jumping out at you. Um, if your brain doesn't work that way, I understand. Um, mine just happens to be one of the ones that does. Um, and then you can also, of course, find plenty of word bank prompts in my Monday newsletters and also uh, online in all kinds of different fabulous places. So yes, today you are going to write a poem with the words sloth, blanket, pig, book, and cloud. Sloth, blanket, pig, book, and cloud. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. And then I also give you a bonus challenge of creating five of your own word bank prompts and sharing them with us so that others can write to them as well. And uh, we can continue creating and celebrating. Alrighty, happy writing. I will see you again tomorrow for another workshop. And bye for now.